Echoes of Otto Warmbier, the American student who was arrested for allegedly stealing a North Korean banner, imprisoned and then returned home in a vegetative state only to die with his parents at his bedside. Now a 25-year-old former Mormon missionary from Utah is ill, facing a trial in a socialist country that is extremely hostile to the U.S., and his parents are worried for his life. A Venezuelan judge ruling that Joshua Holt must stand trial on weapons charges. His mother, Laurie Holt, joins us now uh, to break down this case. Laurie, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate your time when we know this has got to be an extremely difficult situation. Thank you. So apparently thank there you was for a, having me on. Apparently there was a hearing yesterday. Uh, Josh and his wife have been held for more than a year, is my understanding. The U.S. Embassy official was there at the courthouse but not allowed to go into the courtroom. And now they're saying that Josh must go to trial on multiple weapons charges. There have been allegations that he was hoarding or stockpiling weapons. What can you tell us? Uh, that is correct. They, um, we have witnesses that have proven that he is innocent, that they brought the weapons in. Um, so out of the 18 hearings that he has had scheduled, he's only actually been before a judge three times. Uh, and that was for the defense to give their part, the prosecution to give their part. Um, and then yesterday, the judge, um, we know, didn't want to give what she knew she should give. Uh, instead, she turned it over to make it go to trial. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit of audio that we want people to hear that gives a bit of uh, um, a look and a listen at how Josh seems to be faring. So we want to let folks listen to this. I'm very dizzy. I can't think. My stomach hurts. Super bad. I don't know what to do. Lori, how do you feel hearing that, your son? Uh, I, I don't want to ever not see my son alive again. And just what has happened with Otto. Josh sounds like he's on his deathbed to me. That is not my Josh. It's his voice, but he is pleading for help. And I don't know else, how else to get him that help, but to go to the public and put the pressure on our government to do something, do something more than what you've done so far, because obviously it's not working. I know that Senator Hatch, your home, uh, senator from your home state of Utah has been very vocal on this. The State Department has addressed this now publicly as well. Um, the president has been very vocal in many of these cases in fighting to get people home. Have you been able to have any contact with the White House or, or anyone that is offering you any kind of hope here? Um, besides Senator Hatch, um, I did visit the White House. Uh, president Trump was there, but I did not visit with him. Um, they did not really tell me anything. Uh, she kind of, I don't think she really knew the whole story about what had happened. Um, and so I kind of get the story all the time of we're working on it. Mm -hmm. um, things are in motion, but nobody ever tells me what's in motion. Um, and so for me, it's like, I, I'm his mother. Tell, I'm not going to tell the world what you're doing. I just need to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Give me some hope and, and give me an idea of a time frame of yeah. when you're going to get him out or how you're trying to get him out. Because for every day, uh, this is the number one thing on your mind. Laurie, please keep us uh, apprised of what's happening and uh, we'll stand by. Thank you so much for your time. Our prayers are with you. Thank you. More news right after this.